Hello and welcome to Wolf Ridge Woodworking. I'm so excited for this video series. Uh, what we're going to be creating is a Soji tabletop lamp. Don't know what Soji is? Stick around, you'll find out. This project is going to be broken down into three parts. First, we're going to be making the jigs for the Kumiko. Then we're going to be making the Kumiko panels that are going to make up the Soji lamp. And then the third part is going to be making the actual lamp itself. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make our jigs. Uh, Kumiko uses a series of strips of wood that have specific angles so that they lock in together. So we need to make three different angle cuts. We need to make a 45, a 22 and a half, and a 67 and a half. All right, so now what we need to do is cut our 45, 25, and 67 and a half degrees uh, on these jigs. I've used a piece of scrap to test and make sure this 45 is right. So now we just need to cut it. I'm not gonna cut it all the way down here. I wanna leave a little bit. Um, I've got it here. I think it's meant marked an inch and a half. So anyway, let's get to cutting this. Make sure we got our dust mask on. Let's see if I can get this right to show you guys. So I've just got it here. This is a, just a digital gauge that I use to do the, what I'm doing not on table saw. Okay, so that's zero. So, okay, there you go, 45. So this should be good.
Okay, so I got those trimmed back up and uh, cut off at the uh, miter saw. So now what I need to do is drill for the, uh, the thumb screw. It's going to be a threaded insert. Okay, so I'm going to put two in so that you can adjust it uh, back here if you need to, or back here. It gives you a lot more um, options. So I'm just going to go like here. And then this is a quarter inch punch. Just going to make sure that it's straight up and down. Okay, there's one. I'll put the other one right here. Our next jig is going to be to flatten and make sure I get consistent uh, width out of the Kumi, or thickness out of the Kumiko strips. So I've got a piece of half inch uh, MDF here. These have been milled. These are just all pieces of scrap I had in the bin. I didn't want to bore you with all of the um, milling, but these are exactly one half inch by three quarters inch wide. These are exactly half inch um, by half inch square. So what they're going to do is create a groove that the, if I can do this, that the plane is going to ride in, okay? So that I can flatten it. This is going to be a stop block on the end. And then, so the height, the default height is going to be a half inch. So that I have options, I've created a couple of shims that I'm going to screw down. I'm going to have um, threaded inserts in here and a, uh, a, a nut that goes through here, not a nut, but a, a screw that goes through here. So this has been milled to exactly a quarter of an inch. So that will go in here like this. And then this has been milled to exactly an eighth of an inch and that'll go in here like this. And what that leaves me with is a eighth of an inch thick um, Kumiko strip. So my saw blade is one eighth of an inch. So that when I go and cut the Kumiko um, for the half laps, everything should work out. So that's what we're going to do. Now we just need to assemble this. All right, so I'm just going to put a 30 second shim in here. 
just to uh, give it a little bit of wiggle room like that okay run me a line okay and now I can just put my super glue here Okay, so now what I want to do is make a fence. So this is just some scrap MDF that I've got uh, and a scrap piece of plywood. So this is going to go up against here because I'm going to cut a hole all the way through here and that's where the Kumiko strips are going to be cut. Then what I want to do is cut about a quarter of an inch deep um, all, you know, every half inch. And the way I'm going to accomplish that is is I've got a half inch gauge block here. So I put that in here, I'll cut, take this out, push it over, clamp it down, move the fence, put this in for my half inch, and that should give me exactly half inch spacing. And I'll do that for about four inches. So, but for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put a quarter inch space here so that I know, or not a quarter inch space, but a quarter inch cut so that I know where to come back and fully cut after I attach the fence. I just didn't want to do it now because it's going to be upside down. So that's, that's kind of the plan. So let's go ahead and hopefully it makes sense what I'm saying.
All right, so I'm going to use my table saw fence to kind of see, make sure I get to get this uh, completely straight. And then I'm just going to use some uh, Starbond CA glue uh, just to hold it on place until I can uh, get some screws in it. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to put me a bead down here. Just give it a second to cure okay, yep, that's perfect. All right, so I just did some test cuts off camera and you can, uh, I had to widen it a little bit uh, to fit the thickness of this. Um, you can make eighth inch Kumiko Ko uh, just with a single cut, but with the other cuts, uh, you have to slide it over a little bit and then it, it works. But you can see, you know, makes a pretty, pretty tight connection. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I had a lot of fun making these. I'm really looking forward to, you know, making the Kumiko pattern in the next video and then really making those lamps. So I'm really excited. I hope you are too. Um, I made this shooting board off camera, tons of videos out there showing you how to make those. Um, but if you do have a question about this, drop me a comment down below. Check out this video for more of my content. And until next time, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.